Okay, so undergoing complex procedures and receiving a life-changing diagnosis can certainly be scary for anyone, especially though for children. This March, hospitals are shining a spotlight on those who can help make medical care less daunting. They're called child life specialists, and WRL health reporter Grace Haba takes us inside Wake Med Raleigh to share the different specialists that they are making in the youngest of patients. What do you have? Hi. Three-year-old Wells Lewis was diagnosed in November. I think it was just a whirlwind and we were in disbelief. I don't think anybody ever expects that your child is going to get hit with something as big as type 1 diabetes. Since then, poke his finger. Poke. The little adventurer and his family have had to adapt to a new way of life. We tried to just use as simple of terms as we could, and I think it was difficult because we were learning ourselves. During their first trip to the hospital, the family was introduced to Wake Med's team of child life specialists. Using stuffed animals and toys made to look like insulin pumps and other diabetic supplies, the specialist explained the diagnosis to Wells. Get ready, dinosaur. In a way, he could understand. Understand. Play is the language of children. So we promote and protect emotional safety for children that are in duress, um, which really minimizes the both immediate and um, long-term effects that hospitalization can have. The specialists are available for free to families and departments across the hospital to explain a wide range of diagnoses and procedures. We are focusing on preparation, coping, and play, providing opportunities for self expression expression, making sure that they know how to explain this to their friends, what it will mean for birthday parties in the future when it comes to diabetes, something like that. For moms like Aubrey, the difference play has made is clear as she and her youngest continue to use their new tools to navigate their new adventures in and out of the hospital together. Grace Haba, WRAL News. That's just so amazing. The Lewis family is incredibly grateful for the diabetes-themed toys in particular. And that's why they raised money and donated 15 additional supply kits to the hospital. Now even more families can benefit from the power of play.